Slime Time by John Sazaklis. Chapter One: Snack Attack. All aboard! We are about to set sail, the captain announced. Sam had never been on a cruise ship before. I can't wait to explore, she said. There are twelve decks on this ship, and half of them have food. There will be plenty of time to do that after we settle in, her dad replied. There's no way I can wait. The all-you-can-eat buffet just opened, Sam said, and I want to eat while I'm still young. See ya. Sam squeezed herself into the dining hall. She zoomed straight for the pastries. She got a huge jelly donut topped with frosting. Sam took the biggest bite she could and quickly spit it out. Blur, she cried. This tastes like slime. How do you know what slime tastes like? A red-haired lady asked. How do you not? Sam replied. Suddenly, the splattered jelly on the floor began to move. It reached up and wrapped around Sam's arm and leg. Help! Hollered Sam, the jelly is alive, and it's going to eat me. Chapter Two, so much slime. Drop the donut, the lady yelled. Sam let it go, and the slime slid off her. But then it latched onto the dropped donut. Sam watched the jelly blob gobble up the donut. The blob grew bigger. And bigger, and bigger. Whoa, Sam said, and I thought I was hungry. The blob grew two tentacles out of its goopy side. Then it started to rise. Thinking quickly, Sam snatched another snack and threw it across the room. Fetch, she cried, leaving a trail of jelly goo. The blob slithered toward the treat. Run for your lives! Sam yelled as she ran out of the room. The diners ignored her and continued stuffing their faces. Suddenly, there was a loud sound. Hawk! Sam thought the ship was blowing its horn, but that was not it. Instead, it was a new, bigger blob. Blowing her nose. Chapter Three. Ooze Cruise. Ah! Ah! Sam screamed. Honk! Honk! The big blob blubbered again. Sam turned on her heels and ran in the other direction. Oh no! The path was blocked by another giant blob. I'm surrounded by big, slimy blobs," Sam shouted. She was trapped. The only place to go was back to the buffet. Back at the buffet, Sam was shocked by what she saw. Piles of food and globs of slime were splattered around a very angry mob. The original blob was nowhere to be found. There's the culprit. This is all her fault," the red-haired lady shouted, pointing at Sam. Just then, the room went dark. People screamed. All around them, thick, slimy ooze dripped through the portholes and down the walls. The ooze slid into the middle of the room and became two separate shapes. The shapes turned into the big blobs Sam had seen in the hallway. The blobs let out a loud, rumbling sound. Just then, the original little blob came out from under a table. With a high-pitched squeal, it slithered over to the big blobs. Their tentacles twisted around each other in a big blob hug. Sam was still in shock when the captain entered the dining room. 
Sorry, everyone. These worried parents were just looking for their child, she said. Thankfully, they found each other. The three blobs let out a series of gurgles and burbles. How wonderful! Replied the captain, "They've offered to clean up this mess." The blobs opened their mouths wider and wider, slurrer rope. In an instant, they were done cleaning. The blobs belched loudly and oozed out a porthole. At that moment, Sam's dad walked in. "There you are," he said. I'm starving. Then he looked around. Not only was all the food gone, but so were the cups, plates, napkins, silverware, and buffet table. Wow," said Sam's dad. "When they say all you can eat, they really mean it." "You have no idea," Sam replied.